So I think we can get started now. Uh, let me introduce uh, Mr. Kyung Ho Lee. Um, so uh, he is an uh, MPH. He earned his master's degree in public health at Seoul National University. Um, and he is now working as a project manager in the International Vaccine Institute. Um, and he actually majored in communication during his undergraduate. And um, he actually worked on a project, COICA project uh, at Good Neighbors International, international NGO um, for promoting the maternal, neonatal and child health services in Oromia region, Ethiopia. So I think he's going to share his uh, valuable experience in project management and how global health work is really happening in the field. Okay, so now floor is yours. Thank you, Dr. Lee, for kind introductions. Uh, first, let me share the screen with you guys uh, for the presentation slides. Everybody can see. It's okay? Yeah, it looks great. Okay. So, um, let me... okay, so uh, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, it's great to have uh, together with you guys and then share my experience. Uh, thank you, Dr. Lee and uh, Yonsei University to have, to have me for this opportunity uh, in this uh, uh, session. So I'm, I really, I am um, still, I'm still working on the global health field, but I consider myself not an expert yet because I still have a lot of experience to do. Uh, as uh, Dr. Lee already introduced me, I, uh, I'm currently working in uh, IVI, uh, International Vaccine Institute, as a project manager. Uh, I am uh, working on several projects on that, but mainly today I, fo I focused on uh, my project work as a P, uh, PM in on the field as expatriate the, uh, project manager on the field uh, as the uh, COICA project uh, managing uh, through Good, Good Neighbors. So before we go into that, uh, this is the, this project actually is currently ongoing with my contract with Good Neighbors uh, last year. And, but still there is uh, on the field, there's still the uh, same project is going on with the different PM. So just to be sure, want to emphasize that. And then uh, as I'm just gonna share my experience on the field on my portion, because now currently situation a little bit, possibly a little bit different. So these are the partners that are, uh, involved with this project, COICA and Good Neighbors and Pathfinder International is the international organization for uh, focusing on global health work, mainly about maternal and child health. So this is my table of contents. We are this, I'm gonna show you briefly about uh, my uh, pro, pro, uh, former project and uh, give you details. And uh, since this, uh, for session is you are more focused on community engagement, I have uh, incorporate the slides for implementing activities on our work in community engagement and I uh, will share with some tips and challenges regarding uh, project implementation. So start with that. Uh, as uh, already introduced it, um, my project I was working on is promoting maternal and neonatal child health service in RC zone of Oromia region, Ethiopia. is. Uh, RC Zone is about two and a half hours away uh, from Addis Ababa. Um, I was mainly stationed in Itea town um, and the near, nearby Woreda. Woreda is a small, uh, the, in the Korean system is, uh, you can see, see that as a dong or uh, the area. It's, it's a small kind of uh, area, this district area that you can uh, consider. Of course, there is a couple of the, uh, much more similar towns and the uh, construct, constructed area for Woreda, but Woreda is the smallest uh, for the official government. And our project was uh, focused on reducing uh, maternal and neonatal child mortality rate in RC zone. So uh, our actual project was two parts. Uh, one part is uh, for software and other part is hardware. So 
software part, we are implementing the system and program for the uh, health system strengthening. And also for the Koika, they have uh, built like hospitals for uh, infrastructure improvement for this area. So there's a lot of work ongoing for that. So mainly what we are focusing on is our good neighbors work and test finders work and my work throughout that region and the Woreda. So it's about 4 million US, US dollar, um, might be increased a little bit more uh, given the circumstance of main reason we are very delayed on our implementation is still ongoing. It was uh, planned for about uh, three years project, but now it's more of a five years project now. Um, five or is of RC John. Uh, since mainly this, you are in Korea and you are familiar with the Korean system, let me introduce it as RC John as uh, when it compared to the size of Korea, uh, it's about size of Gyeongbuk province. So Gyeongbuk, uh, Gyeongsangbuk-do province, uh, uh, in terms of landscape wise, RC John or I see June itself has about similar as the Gyeongbu province area. And the five border that, that I was handling uh, it, that highlighted in this map was a five border that, and that's about size of uh, Chungcheongbuk-do province. So it is very large area that I cover. And you know, this area is very uh, remote and rural. So there is only one cover road, one asphalt road going through this town and all the other town and all the other uh, area are non uncovered dirt road. We only need to have access with the four wheel drive access. So ma our main activity was health professionals training, increased community awareness, which involved the community engagement and maintenance and utilizations of Oromia Public Health Training Center, which in previous pro through the previous project, Koika already built in this area and already utilized by local government. Uh, and beneficiary, uh, the direct and uh, indirect beneficiary are stated like this in here. So why the partnership? Um, our good neighbors and pest finder have each have their own uh, the uh, specialties. Uh, good neighbors are mainly based on community-based orientation. So we already have the uh, uh, the like the sub units of our like uh, the sub center of our the good neighbors uh, in the local area. We already do doing a lot of community work in that area. So we are we know the community. We know you are familiar with the government. Uh, they already know who good neighbors is. So we are. Uh, very friendly with the area. Pest finder is very, very specialized in um, maternal and child health in Ethiopia. They have implementing a bunch of different uh, material uh, MNC project uh, for uh, even USAID. Uh, so they have plenty of resource, plenty of uh, experience, uh, human resource pool to conduct together. So we are making this together as a synergy of this program. So give you some more detail. This uh, project is uh, explain later on what this 3D learning model is. So our main objective is first increase awareness of uh, how, why we have, they have to seek the healthcare um, and they have to go to a hospital or health center for their treatment or uh, in, the, in this uh, M the maternal and child as case, MCH case, why they have to institution delivery. Improve referral and feedback system, you know, usually the involved with, uh, they want to go to a health center, but they don't have any means of transportation. They are too far away. How can we mitigate that? Third is the quality healthcare service provision by the staff. So, Basically, um, when they get there, uh, step didn't know how to perform, what is the problem, what is the delivery complications, uh, we'll try to mitigate that. So that is the main three object for our uh, implementations. And fourth is improving utilization of uh, OPH, OPHDC, which is uh, currently was implemented in there. So giving you a three theoretical framework of our project, a uh, three delay model was proposed on uh, 1994. 
uh, is describing the reason for uh, low healthcare, healthcare facility utilization on rural area. So they are divided uh, three delay uh, and uh, categorize that uh, why um, women, especially pregnant women, not utilizing the health center for their delivery, why they are delivering home. Uh, first delay is uh, focusing on the society block. So lack of awareness, they didn't know the health care their health center will be uh, helping with that or they are, um, there is some societal uh, blockage on uh, their husband don't want them to go on the, uh, get, the provided the all the health, health center service in that area or they don't have any money. Uh, so those uh, societal delay will be cause of women to just deliver at their home. Second, deliver, second delay is the lack of transportation, as I mentioned, uh, and poor referral system. If there is the, uh, you know, the mainly for our Ethiopian community are, this is a major challenge for this. They are really, really far away. There's no road um, and the only means of transportation are carriage. Um, I think Kari uh, for that uh, Ethiopian, the uh, Oromian tongue. But uh, or so it, it, or bajaj in the or so other another transportation that uh, rural area mostly here. But they're, they're very very uncomfortable and very very far away up to the health center. So they that's the reason why they don't go to uh, institutional delivery. Our third is uh, the health center itself doesn't have a resource, uh, they don't have medicine, they don't have uh, equipment, or they don't have any uh, right training uh, to take care of uh, the patients who are want to uh, came to institution delivery. So far, they, they just have a hard time to go get there. When they get there, they don't have anybody to you know, get support. So this is the drain, drain theoretical framework that we are based on. So. Basic information of our, our project site, um, the size of the site I already mentioned. Uh, this is the, uh, I'm sure this is the about uh, last year, uh, the data that I have so far for the presentation. So it may be a little bit changed, but uh, population wise about 660,000 uh, per people. Uh, and the male and female ratio are pretty similar. Uh, health center uh, for that entire five or the only 20 health center, but with, which is okay. I mean, they, they could cover that they was planned and strategized on that. Health post is about 102, uh, which I think is a little bit more less than I thought, and it will be uh, need to be a severe improvement on that. However, as you can see, ambulance size, I'm uh, there is certain uh, ambulance that already added uh, with the dry duct area and low dead post area with the part of uh, petition of uh, to the government. So they have uh, increased their ambulance number now, but as you can see for entire uh, Chung Chungbukdo province uh, area to cover only six ambulance available for, uh, for the government to use. Now uh, they have a private ambulance service in like uh, running together with the uh, Red Cross, but uh, it is very hard to reach and it is very limited and uh, very expensive in terms of their uh, for the rural community to utilize. And they didn't. They usually don't come. Uh, they have a very lack of response on that. So the project site. This is the. Uh, the actually scoring of these, the uh, health centers of our awarded us for, uh, by the RC Journal Health Department. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is organized with their uh, hardware, uh, hardware, the uh, availability and software availability. So uh, whether the health center staff has trained or how the service, even they uh, even receive the patients uh, satisfactions. It's very, very uh, detailed and very uh, strategized plan to coordinate this uh, 
uh, in, in terms of their health system. But anyway, they, uh, as you can see, our health uh, center in general, there is a um, lack of um, not meeting the guidance of not meeting the, uh, the standard of what the health authority provided in their region and in their government. So what our plan is, we are trying to increase each um, the health center's level uh, from our end to make sure they are reached at least one score above uh, by the time we are exit out on this regard. But that is very bold, uh, very uh, big goal, but uh, that was we are planning and strategize. Uh, and this is just the location of where the health center located. Um, as you can see, the uh, the lack of resource uh, health center are mainly focusing on the Dodota area and the Lode Atos area. So we are actually more focusing on those two areas. And or of course, we are generally uh, helping all the area that I can we can do. But you know. Uh, it is we have to some sometimes we have to strategize for this so this is a slide for that so and, and you can see health professional professional in health center um, is not uh, meeting the expectation or, or or standard for that of course there is no physician or no or uh, doctors available there are more of uh, the health professionals nurse uh, diploma nurse a registered nurse um, graduate nurse, uh, those are the main health center. I know, of course, the uh, midwife, uh, especially they, they have actually a midwife, skilled midwife, or trained midwife available as health worker in this area. So, uh, so far, this is our project design and this, uh, in, the explanation of our project. So let me show you what we did in terms of community engagement and the activity wise for the project. So um, first one is coffee ceremony and pregnant woman conference. Uh, Nuguse will be really, really familiar with coffee ceremony in terms of Ethiopian culture. Uh, they drink a lot of coffee. Um, some might say they drink five cups of coffee a day. Uh, they are really, really uh, love coffee and they are, uh, they, they enjoy coffee a lot. So what we did, we take this opportunity to uh, utilize the gathering in the health center. So we actually buy the coffee ceremony materials and prepare the coffee ceremony to the local uh, women's and the uh, groups. Uh, pregnant women especially, to invite them to health post. Actually, we are mostly conducted in health post level in this activity. Um, so this is usually uh, in, in it, rural, uh, rural society in Ethiopia, the coffee ceremony utilized as a community gathering. So uh, in terms of Korean term, if you are a Korean, you will be understanding as a pansangwe in that area. Uh, it is common practice to have coffee ceremony when the people gather and you know celebrate something or mourn something that is the common custom for that so we utilize that opportunity to invite the community member share what we are doing and also make sure they are understanding why we they have to come to institutional delivery or referral system uh, checked by health post the uh, the health extension worker which is similar to community health worker uh, in terms of uh, the Ethiopia term, health extension worker and, you know, go from there. So we are providing uh, very in different information. Uh, what is pregnant woman complications in terms of pregnant woman conference in the coffee ceremony, we invite the, even the local uh, males to, un to understand uh, why they have to, uh, send their uh, wife to health center to delivery, what can be the complication, what can be the difficult measure. We even uh, in introduced them the, uh, the like uh, utilizing the condoms and those sexual material, uh, reproductive education to them so, so that 
you know, in, in terms of avoiding pregnancy on that regard, that's also another education level that we all bring in that program. And that's incorporated with the uh, coffee ceremony and his essential workers training. So uh, another thing is mass awareness. Um, this we design the and record health information uh, that approved by the local health authority. And we make that as a health uh, campaigns uh, uh, message conveying uh, with the different uh, authorities and different language. Even usually we usually utilize Amharic and Oromifa. Um, Ethiopia is very well divided in the language. Um, our society that Oromia region are mainly populated in Oromifa uh, speaking people, but in uh, official language is Amharic and English. So in, in that case, we usually prepare Amharic and Oromifa, both Amharic and Oromifa, because even even within our team, well, we have uh, staff that who don't know how to speak, who don't know how to speak in Oromifa. They only speak Amharic because they have come from different reason. But uh, the health the expert background is available, so we hire. So some of the Oromifa speaking staff are more uh, keen to preparing the presentations, and uh, they are more focusing on the scheduling and whatnot. So uh, this, we, in Ethiopia, they have, we have a, each world have a big market place. Like, uh, you know, uh, in, like in old, old time Korea, it is, uh, there is a, the certain day is market day, which is usually two days a week. Um, some, some town is Tuesday and Friday, some town is Wednesday and Saturday. There is no set, set up time, but usually don't overlap with the nearby uh, Waredas. But uh, in that time, people gather a lot. Uh, you know, they are bringing their merchants, they are come to buy some merchants. Um, so people go in and out a lot. So in that case, uh, why not we, uh, you know, announce important health message to convey them to make sure they are informed on the this important uh, health information that is uh, important for them to know. This is edutainment. Um, so edutainment session is also coincide with the uh, market day. You know, you, you when it comes to the market day, you know, there is a lot of people who are came to buy the product or sell the product but also it is it is kind of a you know celebration or they have a entertainment uh, session in the uh, market that time so people gather so in that case we actually uh, hired the company entertainment company to arrange their uh, entertainment session like mostly a dance and a performance um, on the truck, as you can see in the picture. Uh, and, you know, in between that, we convey the uh, Oromifa health information uh, for this to transmit uh, to the large gathering of crowd, which I believe is really important for community engagement to incorporate the mass awareness uh, project. So this is another mass awareness project for us. Uh, the problem is that, I mean, in the coronavirus situation, this is, Actually, uh, one of our entertainment session was canceled because the first uh, the case of coronavirus was happening in the, I believe in March uh, of 2020. And uh, we have planned this uh, April of 2020 and we have to cancel. Uh, we are actually was gonna plan to perform within the theater to control the crowd and to make sure we had, um, to uh, involve the community leaders to join and the, make a speech, something like that. But that all canceled in, on, under my term for the second entertainment session, which is very, very sad. Uh, the, we have actually made 
the couple of installations within the health center, people who comes to the health center or live nearby the health center know what is the important issues and um, what is health information that uh, they need to know. Uh, specifically ANC and PNC, they, uh, you know, anti-natal care, pre -natal, uh, post natal care, they're uh, the important information. The, the briefly, um, it is, uh, you know, not large, it is a huge board, but it's not a lot of space. So, and we don't want to make a writing is so small. Actually, we have failed to do so because in this uh, picture, you cannot see what is the message. That is not the purpose of it, but we are trying to put the information, all, all the information we try to get, and this is what happened. So, uh, this is also one other uh, area to reach out to community and uh, do the community engagement. And that's actually very common practice in uh, Ethiopia, uh, in terms of rural area in Ethiopia, to have like a post board or like a steel frame uh, uh, the installation outside of the roads or uh, the uh, landmark to convey the information. Health essential workers, health station. So um, let me clarify some of the difference between uh, community health worker, CHW and health essential worker in terms of Ethiopia. So community health worker in general, they are hired in the community as far as our, my knowledge in different countries. Uh, generally hired within the community, they got trained to be the community health center, having the uh, health workers to be um, taught and they are perform the basic need of health within their community. In terms of Ethiopia is different. Uh, the health extension worker are hired by government, trained by the government. So they are different level, they, are, they have programmed uh, within their government policy, in in a, in a way that they are performed as community health worker uh, on the society. However, they are actually government employee. They even the level four, the highest level of health extension worker, are equivalent of uh, two year practice nurse nurse. Uh, so, uh, in that means, they can uh, do some medical work within their hospital post to uh, perform the activity. So th it is a little different between your understanding of community health worker and the health extension worker. So health extension worker sensitization. So we have understand that it is um, vital to involve the male community for to be alarmed with this uh, issue of uh, institutional delivery. So we have made a session health extension worker to be um, trained and uh, reach out to the, their community because health extension worker based uh, ba mainly based on the community uh, where the health post is much more, much, much more rural area than health center. Even health center is in the rural area, but health, ex health post, some of the health posts uh, among all the 102 health posts, I have never been uh, the health post, some of the health posts because it's too rural area uh, uh, in order to get there it takes four hours just to get there. So, and takes four hours to get out, that is uh, one day. So it is challenging to schedule visit in hospitals. So this is the uh, you know session for how to involve the male to, uh, to be sensitized on the maternal and child health issue uh, with the community leaders and health extension worker and all. Next is health extension worker experience sharing. Even health extension workers are uh, not really receive uh, necessary training sometimes. So in that case, we are giving them a model, showing them the model uh, has posts and has uh, workers, uh, it has extension workers to show them uh, what is actually a good practice. What did they, uh, in case of certain situation, how they react, those kind of training, they share each other, which is very, very popular session. We, but the preparation is very, very heavy on this because um, we have to select the model house post by our standards. So we have to visit the suggested health post up from the government to make sure they have meet the standards. Sometimes 
they uh, accept it, but sometimes they fail. So it is hard for the suggestion and preparation uh, time point. But it was very, very satisfied uh, by the health extension worker and health workers, and even for government to conduct this uh, session. Um, PR and uh, this is mainly uh, focused by the test finder. They have an extensive program for uh, peer, edu peer education and peer educator training. Um, so we select uh, 25 students, uh, 25 or 30 students, uh, that depends on the size of the school, but the uh, recommended by school. And so actually the teacher or one or two teacher involved as well for this training. And they receive education about uh, reproductive health, uh, the youth friendly service, how, what is health center's purpose, uh, what is the health centers do. Actually, the health center have a department for that youth friendly service um, and sexual transmitted illness uh, training as well. So uh, that is for uh, avoiding the teenagers pregnancies and, you know, the issue of, uh, the young age marriage, something like that. So, um, so they actually we receive about I think it's about three weeks training, uh, two or three weeks training, and then, uh, what is hoping is that they, when they are school session start, they can uh weld wear this T-shirt, which is very very fine T-shirt for, uh, for their standpoint. For me, uh, it is very touched by Ethiopian, so I'm not satisfied with the quality, but. Uh, the this for them that is very nice uh, hat and t-shirt and they wear that um, and they are draw attention what is the how did they get there and they can share their education during their uh, break and uh, uh, by the health staff so uh, in a way they can train their peers uh, friends about what they are, the training that they have already received from reproductive health regarding this issue. And then we are also follow up with that through the coffee ceremony. And um, we have monthly like updates and meetings uh, that they can go to. And actually health center staff are managing those uh, peer educators uh, through their uh, work line as well. Uh, so that is about uh, mostly focus on the the program for our uh, the delay one. So mostly that is more involved in community engagement. For delay two and delay three, uh, those two objects very short. Um, there are more of a uh, uh, there there are a big portion of our uh, program, but uh, for this I want to focus on community engagement so that I prepare uh, more activity on that and short activity on this. So this is not a limited activity for the uh, delay two and delay three. So one of the delay, one of the uh, two ways to improve our referral system to health center is constructing maternal waiting, maternal waiting area. So in the um, health center is very poor um, the, or, or health center does not meet the condition but they are by, by, uh, bound by the policy. They need to have uh, uh, the program uh, and they need to have uh, the actual space for the uh, maternal waiting area. So what we did is we select a couple of health centers to construct the maternal waiting area. So this uh, inside of the maternal waiting area and this outside, it is, uh, as you can see, the pathway that is uh, directly linked to uh, delivery room. So whenever they have a uh, pain, uh, they can go right away to delivery room to uh, give birth. So in the meantime, uh, they can stay here, or uh, uh, I believe uh, the more than two weeks. Uh, they have a shower system, they have a kitchens to cook. Uh, so it is, for in their standpoint is very uh, quality, a comfortable, clean area they can stay uh, to encourage a uh, woman, pregnant woman to give birth in institution delivery. So it is um, very important and actually very welcomed by the community when we construct this area for the health center. It is very welcome the activity, but we cannot build all to all health center due to the lack of budget for this network. And various training for the healthcare, healthcare workers. So uh, different level of health experts receive different level of uh, 
the health education, uh, including uh, the first starting from health extension workers over, all the way up to even health center director. We have given the training, uh, the basic training about re related to their service, EPI, IMSCI, um, the medical equipment maintenance because they have a medical equipment but they don't know how to maintain. So when they are not working, they are just abandoning it and they're not utilizing it, which is very uh, big loss for uh, health center to do it. And even sometimes they didn't have an equipment. So we actually buy the equipment to health center. What did they, what they didn't have. So we actually purchased and send it to them base for their improvement of their service, which uh, showing the next slide, um, the uh, preparation of health, health uh, medical equipment and medicine distribution was really painful because they have a certain standard we have to make and um, it is uh, far away from Addis, so we have to bring the find a vendor from the Addis, and then uh, communicating through arrangement of transportation, and then after arriving our office, and then we have to distribute it to the health center for each by each, and that was very painful, but it was more rewarding. Uh, they have now they have really just necessary material to cover their service, so that so. It is very um, uh, welcomed by the community. Of course, we do a lot of performance review meeting. Uh, so uh, from all level of government partners, for us, starting from PHCU, that is um, health center, health post units uh, all together, and the WERDA level, uh, WERDA level government under all their health center, and the zonal level, the those five WERDA, and including zonal participant, we are doing review to make sure that we are uh, share what we done, what we have done, and what we are going to do, and what they what do they need to strategize the future plan for our site and the uh, make sure to have to maintain the communication channel for with the high official and uh, we we'll make sure we are not out of scope uh, based on their request. So um, I'm not sure I have enough time, but I will continue I almost uh, finalized with the my presentation so let me share with some of the challenge uh, being in the expatriate uh, project manager or and just to be well, some of the things to heads up for when you when when you become as the working level of global health expert in the on the field so first one is governmental relationship in terms of Ethiopia um, it will be very uh, different, very different between country by country. But in terms of Ethiopia, health project is very tightly controlled by the government. Um, it's a major, major uh, project and major uh, th sector that uh, government is very uh, uh, keen to interest. Um, so in that case, the all the our activity, even though we are NGO, we are non-governmental organization, we have to register to the government to our project and control by the governmental staff their um, activity. And we have to avoid the overlap between the, uh, the current governmental work and our activity. So that, that communication and that uh, arrangement was very challenging. Um, so the we have a lot of uh, uh, experience on Delaying our project or program or activity um, in to for that we have already scheduled for our project program uh, because it overlap between the governmental organization or non cooperation of the governmental side. This is the picture is actually um, you know negotiating with our donor health health director uh, to make sure that our project on the on the same time and you know just to keen interest and then make sure to involve on our project so um my suggestion is uh, make sure to expect the delay on the government um uh, make sure to prepare and anticipate the hold and delay with the government activity because they are their interest may not be your project their interest is may not possibly their own uh, agenda or different communication, uh, different uh, agenda. So 
the constant communication with government staff are required. This is not uh, the, the, the choice, it's a requirement actually. Uh, maintain a good relationship with them. Actually, uh, for our project, we maintain very good relationship with uh, governmental official because um, the person who you can you see in the pro uh, the uh, picture actually he was what well, he was the health uh, that M MCH coordinator of uh, Jonar government, and now he became a head uh, Jonar head. So he. For the start of the project, he was involved in the communication with Koika and the neighbors and uh, as an expert in, on the field. And now he's become a head. So he was really supportive and really have a maintained good relationship with us throughout the project cycle. The next is partnership. So uh, as I mentioned uh, previously in the slide, uh, we have made, made a partnership with uh, the different organization, different NGO as together as one team uh, to make a synergy for this program because uh, Good Neighbors are not exactly our health, uh, global health uh, uh, NGO or experts on this. And the past, uh, we have a lack of information on that regard and the program and the guideline, but Pathfinder have those guidelines and those human resources to do this. So it's a good synergy. But one thing that we have to ask and we should have anticipated is that administrative differences and operational differences between two organizations and the difference between those two organizations with the COICA standard. Um, the COICA also have the, uh, different administrative standard which sometimes very hard to communicate uh, with the uh, involved party uh, partnership. So uh, the collaboration can be a strength, but also can be a weakness on the in terms of administrative wise. Um, so lastly, some tips: uh, if you are thinking about, you know, project management. Um, are related on um, this field. Uh, important that you have to think of schedule, scope, and cost. Um, those are the main key uh, component for project management. Um, you have to think of the schedule is correct, and we are on schedule or we delay schedule. Uh, what is critical path of the um, schedule? scope are we uh, doing all the things that we are supposed to do or we are uh, missing behind uh, are we able to complete all the tasks that we are supposed to do those things and cost of course not to be mentioned budget within the budget we need to request the more budget to the donor which is very very hard and very very difficult uh the things that we can uh, things things uh, and so make sure to be in the cost wise are on, on target. Uh, my suggestion is doing the administration process. Um, if you the, if you are, want to involve with the quick related project or some kind of project management scheme, uh, you might have to do a lot of administration work. And the administration work are experience, based on experience, there's um, I believe, uh, for for my point of view, there is no shortcut or there is no training that they can give. You have to experience. You have to see the cycle, cycle of project, cycle of administration. What is the report? Is what is proposal? Is what is, uh, you know, the letter, the official letter uh, work? How to write the official letter? Because those things, I, I being in the uh, project manager, I have like it hundreds of uh, official letters to the government, not only for the government, but for the COICA and even internal uh, communication for the headquarters. So, and as I mentioned, anticipate delay and make sure to be ready for the readjustment and process of project. Uh, to be honest with you, there is no perfect project. So uh, that you, you will have to readjust the time and you adjust the schedule 
for the budget and then make sure to fit the schedule. So the, when you start, when you design the project, that is the pro that you're not going to be end with that project, especially in the on the field in the global health field. It is very difficult, very challenging, and many uh, obstacles within the way. The many are uh, the unexpected risk to do you based on. So you have to think of that. Uh, communication plan with the stakeholder. Communication plan is always helpful. Uh, when do we uh, plan for the you know, training or or the meetings or workshop, something like that. Um, the not to oversee the M and E plan. Make sure to have a suggested to for the M and E part and assessing the risk and uh, control the mitigation plan and critical paths for the project. So these are the my preparation for uh, the for, for the for today. Uh, if anybody have a questions, um, I'm more than welcome. To. Our session. So uh, everyone, thank you for joining us this evening, and thank you, uh, Mr. Lee, for uh, giving us a great lecture. Um, so I hope you get some like indirect experience from the global health field. And um, hopefully um, the COVID-19 situation gets better. Maybe we can get uh, like more tangible outcomes from this uh, project, good project, right? So we talked about many different challenges and issues. So it was really interesting um, and learn from each other. Okay, so um, thank you. Um, and I think we will be um, ending our session. Oh, Thank you very much. Can I take a picture? 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 Can I 아, 증명하지 말고 했나요? 아, 네, 알겠습니다. 아, 아. 네, 알겠습니다. 수고하셨습니다. 네, 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 수고하셨습니다.